I'd always drawn as a child. Um, my parents would bring home reams of computer paper and I'd draw on, on these stacks of paper with my brother and they'd fold out and draw giant robots and things like that. And Hi, my name is James Jean. I'm an artist and I live in Los Angeles. Well, I was born in Taiwan and uh, I moved to the States when I was three. And for a long time, I sort of felt like, um, you know, uh, an outsider, you know, sort of like a marginalized minority uh, growing up um, in New Jersey. As I hit my 20s, my hair just sort of came back. I, there's something in my genetics, maybe, but um, I'd also um, visited uh, China and Taiwan, and um, there's something about the art, and maybe the fact that I'd always drawn and you know, in the calligraphy and, and, and that kind of impulse, it, it, it uh, just felt really natural. And it's not that I consciously um, co-opt these influences. I feel like I'm. Uh, I'm drawn to them, and yet uh, there's something inextricable in um, my mark making. Maybe it's what you call genetic memory, I don't know. But then there's all these Western influences as well, so it's, it's this weird um, mix, this, this conflict that, that's always there. You know, one thing informs the other, so it's almost like a cascade where I'll start one part and that'll inspire me to, um, you know, push and pull and, and do all those painting conventions and sort of come up with a, a final image. And somewhere in, in all that effort, there's a, there's a narrative or some kind of intent. Now, I, I'm not sure what it is right now, but right, I think in looking at the paintings that I'm doing right now, there's, there's something um, mythical and almost timeless about what I'm after. I mean, I want the paintings to feel of their time, but then I also want the paintings to sort of um, transcend the time in which they're being created. I'm working more spontaneously without, um, uh, without much of a preconceived sketch, and throughout the process there's also a lot of changes that take place. So in the painting behind me, you'll see these two large cherubs. And um, I, had, uh, I was just in Melbourne and I took some photos of these two tiny ceramic sculptures that I was drawn to. And, and from those photos, I worked up these two large paintings. Of course, the ceramic sculptures were, you know, they were basically white um, porcelain and uh, they're completely transformed here and they're put in, in, into this, this strange, vibrantly colored landscape. And we're not quite sure what they're holding. This, this melting mass of ve vegetation, maybe um, the, uh, the blue cherub on the right is holding um, this, this boulders of, of fecal matter. We don't know, but somehow it, it's eternal because it's, it's about life and renewal. And so that's where that mythical quality comes from, that, that sense of the uh, eternal. If you look into my sketchbook work, I think you'll find that uh, it's very experimental, you know, with all the layering and, and the colors and the textures and the effects. Um, there are a lot of um, very painterly things going on in there, the, in, in the image making and the mark making, and, I, and now it's becoming um, manifest in, in the large paintings. Yeah, I mean, my, my, my drawing took a long journey. I think I just explored every facet I could from just pure observation to, to drawing from imagination to, you know, something more abstract or diagrammatic. And it keeps going on going in this big circle depending on, on where my interest lies at that moment.
But th there was a saying in art school that, that kind of really transformed my perspective on things, which was um, paint when you draw and draw when you paint. You know, because drawing is very, um, you know, uh, linear and you're um, describing something with almost a single point. But then when you're painting, when, when you're painting, when you're drawing, that, that means you're using the tool in, in, in a different way. And then the same thing with painting, you know, with, with uh, a paintbrush, you can get these broad atmospheric strokes, but then you sort of tend to lose um, the specificity of drawing. So when you sort of switch your perspective on those two things, then you, uh, you almost um, get the best of both, both worlds. I think when people are drawing, they tend to get lost in, in the little details. So when you're painting, when you're drawing, you see the entire picture, and then um, things become more cohesive. These are just a few of the sketchbooks I, I was able to grab on hand, and um, I mean, I guess we can go through them. So this is a sketchbook I started when I was in art school. I think I was maybe in my third year. Um, maybe, I think maybe I was maybe 19 or 20. It's my, it's my hand right there. So this is a little oil painting. So at this point, I, I, I just wanted to make the, the most ambitious sketchbook, the most dense sketchbook I, I could. So there are a lot of figure drawings. And at the same time, I was learning how to draw. So there were a lot of studies. Subway drawings. This is a drawing I did um, at the Met. Diary entries. So it's a mix of drawings done from observation and drawings from imagination and from memory. Yeah, you can see I'm, I'm not uh, wasting any, any space on the page. And I toned the, the pages with, um, with a little bit of color to to give it that, that sense that it's, um, that sense of depth. Yeah, I remember when I did the sketchbook, it was, uh, it was a big hit um, in art school. And, and, um, and it's still uh, something that, that people really gravitate towards. This is one of, another sketchbook I did in school after this one. So you can see it's getting more painterly, more experimental, more self-aware, self-conscious. Pages are becoming more designed and finished in a way. They're more, like, they're more like fully realized paintings. This is nice page. There's a little bit of, of texture here. I put some salt onto the page on top of uh, some acrylic, and, and I really like that the crumbly um, effect that you can get with the texture. So I started doing these. Just these simple line drawings. And that's uh, Ellen Page on the set of a movie. Um, this is a pop star in, in Taiwan that I sketched. Oh, well, there I am painting again. So I'm always going back and forth. Yeah, this is my most current sketchbook. You can see I'm getting back into painting and uh, being more experimental. Um, also, keeping up with the, the journal entries and um, trying to document some aspects of where I'm traveling to. I, I let the work take me where it needs to go and um, uh, themes sort of arise and I think only after um, the body of work is finished can I really sit back and, and, and analyze what's going on. Yeah, it's just kept on evolving and it, you know, there are periods of of pockets of, of, uh, of time where the work looks consistent or coherent, but then it, it follows an um, a unpredictable trajectory. Fine. <laughs> <laughs>